Hey guys, Makuth 1974 coming back at you with another episode of International Civilian Space Program. Episode 8 is the Cathane Miner submitted by Mecha Pants. He uh, privately submitted to th this to me on the forums with a PM. Decided I needed one and I decided I'm going to send this up. Of course, now this is on the whole uh, crust of. 1.21 coming out uh, with the announcement that all our save files will be non-compatible with 1.21 which brings me at a dilemma with this program I do not want to end this series just because I lost a save file so I actually have come up with an idea basically I'll just continue the story in 1.21 I haven't really had all that much built in here uh, I did do some experiments, if you look up in the upper left middle, right next to the altimeter, altimeter, you'll see that I have something that says the calm status. Well, I did try to do uh, some of a new mod, uh, it's not new, it's been around a little while, I tried it out a little bit. And uh, I decided I didn't really, it really didn't work for my, my game I had going right now because I had too much stuff out there that uh, basically I did, it didn't uh, actually work with uh, my stuff. So I, I, I couldn't use like my rover and stuff like that. So I ended up actually taking this out about halfway through this video. So that was just an experiment to see if it would actually work or not that's called uh, that mods called remote tech by the way sorry I didn't mention that but remote tech I I tried it I liked it uh, I just you know I just it's something you need to set up when you first start playing and I didn't do that and I didn't want to you know relaunch all my stuff just to mess with remote tech and on the whole a uh, heel of the fact that I actually have to uh, junk this save file anyway when uh, 1.21 comes out which hopefully maybe it'll come out this week or maybe even before I post this video on my YouTube page who knows so anyway Mecha Pants has sent me this uh, interesting uh, miner it's a simple little miner uh, I've did I've done some uh, modifications to it just a little bit I had to add my uh, oxygen and uh, stuff like that just for it it went with uh, my game and they're going to be going to the moon and they're going to be landing uh, next to uh, the moon base. And what they're going to do is they're going to fill up uh, the lander with some more fuel. We're going to be able to get uh, Jebediah and crew off the moon, send them back to the planet Kerbin, and pretend to get ready for 1.21 when that comes out. Uh, they'll be ready to launch a new mission. If 1.21 doesn't come out soon, I might do a Duna mission on my own in uh, this version of the game. I haven't decided. So that either the next video is going to be 1.21. If it if it comes out this week, that's probably what's going to happen. If it doesn't come out in the next couple days, I will probably start uh, putting together a Duna mission, a real quick one. Uh, we'll send them over there. Uh, probably Jebediah will lead, lead the way as usual get them over there and uh, we'll have one more mission before 1.21 comes out and then we'll junk this save and we'll start over of course I don't know when any of the mods will be updated for 1.21 uh, mission controller uh, no idea how that's going if uh, he's gonna be able to update that or not if he doesn't I might look into uh, updating it myself or putting something on it if I possibly can for my own personal use I have no permission to actually do it uh, publicly, but personally, I can almost certainly get the thing to work in 1.21 if I have to, and we'll go from there, wherever that leads to. So, here we go. We're getting at to the moon. We're getting ready to land on the moon. Uh, this thing ain't really that bad to uh, actually land. Uh, another one of those big things that a lot of people are worried about was uh, the craft files, and I just read a forum from the Kerbal Space Program forums from Nova Silisco or Silisco Silisco I think it is uh, he says that of course our saves won't survive but he's pretty sure that our uh, craft files will and I'm pretty sure they will too because the saves and the craft file are totally two different totally things 
totally different things and it shouldn't really mess with point two one. So that's made a lot of people happy. I guess there's going to be when you install point two one and you start messing with everything, there's going to be a an in program thing that's going to delete all your old saves for you or you get rid of anything that's not compatible so from what from what he is saying on uh, the forums and on reddit about the whole situation is that's what is going to happen so when that happens uh it'll be cool that's why i kind of think that it's coming out real soon like maybe by the weekend I'm, I'm not sure because usually they don't you know they don't start talking about that if they're getting all the save file the compatibility stuff uh that's going to delete all the bad saves and all that stuff, then it's got to be like right there, ready to go, ready to move. Another thing I've read on uh, Reddit is that they're going to be adding uh, procedural uh, moon craters to uh, the moon. It's going to be the first planetoid, planetoid body in Kerbal Space Program with this system. And if it works out, they're going to have, uh, they want to add it to a lot of all the other moons in the Kerbal system. It's pretty cool what it has. You know, right now we basically have big, huge craters on the moon like we're seeing right now. Uh, these are like continent-sized craters. What this new system will add is the little, the little ones. You know, like a couple meters or you know, 50 meter ones or 10 meter ones. You know, all the small ones. And if you uh, go to the Reddit for if you go to the Reddits or even uh, the forums where it's been posted, you'll see uh, everything that's been. Uh, shown about it. It looks actually kind of cool. It looks a little noisy uh, with uh, maybe this, maybe it's a little too much, but I don't think so. I think it looks, looks like I did. I was having a few issues trying to land this thing. So as I usually do, I will land it and push F5. Oh, I know what I'm doing right now. I am looking for uh, the Cathane. And I've totally missed it over here. And as I can tell, it's not working, so I'm going to just keep on moving until we do find it. And I'm kind of struggling a little bit. No big deal. Uh, I'm really struggling over here. Come on now. Get this thing straight. I'm like actually moving away. That's not good. There is caffeine here. It's a very, very small... Uh, deposit. I think it's only like uh, 71,000 uh, liters, which really isn't that big. You can pretty much suck that up in a few a few hours of gameplay. Well, maybe not. It'll, it'll, it'll do good for what we need it right here. So, yeah. I'm just moving this thing over. Getting it over there. Moving it everywhere. Flinging up in the air. What the hell am I doing? I don't know. I've I've had issues trying to move things, especially if it's a new craft and I don't know exactly how exactly it works. It's always the same thing that gets me. It's the um, thing moving around like this is uh, what usually bothers me. Just land this damn thing. Oh, oh, oh! That was a close one. So I'll try for some more cathane here. I'm not, you can tell by the, the overlay right here, the new Cathane overlay, that I'm right there. It's more past the uh, actual base though. I gotta go on the other side. I'm on the opposite side of where the Cathane is. It's basically where I am right now. And what we need to do is we need to move this baby over a little bit. I'm trying to do my bunny hopping thing here. Try to move this thing over. Looks like we're doing better now. Maybe not, who knows. Maybe we'll just jump right to where we need to go. Here, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll just let's let's just go to where we need to go. We don't need to watch all this crap. So, here we go. And there we go, we've actually got some cathane. Like I said, it's a very small, small, small deposit. But for what we need it for, all we really need to do is uh, refill our little lander over there and it'll be able to get us into the air. And I'll send the shuttle over to pick them up, to send them back to Kerbin. We'll land them in a hero's welcome and then we'll get ready for uh, 
the other stuff. Of course, uh, the Cathane Miner itself actually has a crew, and I will put the Cathane Miner in orbit, and now transfer this crew also to the the shuttle, and we'll send everybody home at once, and then we'll have no more Kerbals in space until we launch the Duna mission. If we launch the Duna mission, if I don't launch it in uh, 0.20, I will launch it in 0.21. So there will be a Duna mission, and my basic plan for the, the Duna mission is to uh, just basically get things going. Uh, a special, I have a special idea for that. Okay, so here we go. I have taken Jebediah put him in the lander and now I'm trying to get him close to the Cathane Miner for we can start transferring the liquid fuel and the oxidizer and filling this baby up and getting it up into orbit and all that wonderful stuff so basically I'm just doing another landing another landing another landing kinda of just jumped right to it not a big deal I didn't think you guys would mind I'm not gonna show every little detail of this but Getting this sucker over there, getting everything. I like actually landing this. This thing is actually extremely rugged. I uh, was going to see here a few times. I'm going to kind of land it kind of hard. And it's going to kind of go sideways a little bit. And I'm trying to save it. And you can tell it's like bang, bang. And everything's just staying right together. That's always good. That's always good that we can do that. I probably still, I probably was close enough there, but uh, not really. As you can tell right there, I took another pretty big bang and she's still together so this ship is very rugged for what its use is very forgiving to uh pilots <laughs> you can see how i'm bending that part i mean that part literally just bent in half That should be good. That should be good. We should be close enough now. We can get Jebediah out of there. Put some lights on. Get Jebediah out there. Let's set this thing up to do some fueling and uh, get things moving. I'm actually kind of excited for it. I know a lot of people are mad about the .21 and uh, how it's going to mess up their saves. But, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an alpha game. You know, we, And if we're looking at at it from a uh, game point standpoint of uh, how things are going to work. The whole thing with the moon and adding uh, all the new creators would have never happened unless uh, the games were already broken from something that they had already done. So, to me, if to me if they have to break saves and they should break them as many times as they need them to make the game a final game. So. Uh, there should be no like warranty on how long your save should last while it's in alpha. It should be, it might last a month, it might last two months. I know a lot of people like to build stuff up and get things going and stuff like that. But, you know, it's just, it's just one of those things. So I don't mind really at all. This is my, actually my second save I've had. No, this is my third save. Uh, so it's not, not a big deal. I'm taking this guy out of here. Why am I, what am I doing? Where is he going? What is he doing? Oh, he's grabbing some pieces for we can, uh, this turns out to be a disaster. I don't know if this is a bug or a, uh, or a situation, but we're going to put him on the rover, which does work now because you can tell I do not have the remote tech anymore. Uh, for some reason, this rover would not work with remote tech, even though he was sitting in the seat and everything else. So. Let's just drive the rover over here. As we know, this rover is pretty touchy anyway. Even though I've had, I have it in uh, docking mode, and I have uh, I pushed the caps lock key or the tab key. Forgot which one it was. Cab T for uh, you know fine controls and all that stuff. And this thing is still a little bastard to drive around sometimes. Uh, she either or either or you're trying to stop with it and you can't because you got fine controls on so you try to use the brakes and then you use the brakes and you flip over just like that the poor little freaking whoever the hell that was is like all in trouble now watch what happens when he stands up remember the thing that is on his back to stand up it kind of fell on boom it just exploded on his back i was like what the f exactly Anyway, I have an extra one on here. I'll just grab it. I was just trying to grab that one because it was extra and I didn't want to start using the, the pieces off of this one. 
Uh, it's over on the other engine, I believe. I think I have one on each engine. I'm pretty sure when I did that. There it is. I jump up, grab it. Of course, what this allows us to do is I will hook this attachment up to the cathane miner, which will then allow me to hook uh, that system with the lander. So I'm going to put this up here. I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to do a jump here. Here we go. Oh. I lost it. Okay, here we go. Okay. There it goes. Turns green. Now we're all set. Now I grab that and I hook it up docked. So now we are literally docked. The lander and the cathane miner are docked. And I should be able to start transferring fuels and all that wonderful stuff. Putting the fuel in there. There we go. Getting that all set. Of course, now we have to flip that rover back over. It's actually easier than you think. I, I try a little experiment here in a few seconds when I get these tanks filled up. It's uh, quite, quite a funny experiment, but it uh, doesn't really work. The actual torque of the rover has enough torque to actually flip that back over. So it was, I was just trying to be, I was just trying to be funny, and uh, we'll see how it, it goes. It actually almost worked, but uh, yeah, the torque alone can flip that that rover back over without any issues at all. Of course, I still have all the original pilots. Bob, Bill, and Jebediah are all still alive. Both Bob and Bill and uh, are pretty much in the same area right now. Uh, we saw Bill or Bob over there. That's Bill or Bob that we're, we're messing with right now, isn't it? Or is Bill or Bob over there? I don't know. They're all here. Everybody's here. We'll all be going home soon. As usual, I'm tired. Need to go to bed soon. Just try to get this uh, this commentary over. I'm going to try to do some live commentary again on uh, Kerbal Space Program. You know, the really the really sad part about doing uh, live commentary on Kerbal Space Program is that basically you have to do it, you know, while you're launching. And you can't speed up the video when you do commentary over the video because it just doesn't sound right and nothing matches up. Because, okay, here we go. This is when I try to experiment with the Kerbal flipping this, this rover over. I set him up and... Uh, Use this jetpack to try to smash him into it. They'll just basically flip it over. I'm going to try it again here in a second. You can tell that time I actually got under it and was able to flip it just a little bit, but no. I, I basically give up. And I'm pretty sure this is where I start using the torque of the vessel. That's it for now, guys. As always, this is Malkuth1974. Subscribe, comment, and rate. We'll see you next time, either or not, with point two one or not. But it will be a Duna mission. I want to get to Duna. Malkuth.